Hey guys, thanks for watching Awesome Toys TV. Today we're going to talk about the new Master Grade Extreme line that's coming from Bandai. How do we know this is coming? Well, there's actually a trademark watch website called Shiza Watch in Japan, and this was picked up as the new trademark from Bandai. There is also a new Bandai LM HG line coming, which I'll talk about after we go through the exciting MGEX line. Will this line be coming now, or maybe later, or maybe not at all? Who knows? Maybe Bandai is trolling all of us. Now, fan theory number one this is going to be a bigger, better Master Grade kit. So if we remember very well, there used to be a 160 scale high grade EX line. It's not called high grade extreme, it's just called high grade EX line. And that line consists of the Wing Gundam Zero, the God Gundam, Shining Gundam, and also the V2 Gundam all in 160 scale. This line was pretty much short-lived. Um, you can still buy them though, it's still available in certain stores. Uh, but the kit itself, it was not a great kit, right? There is no proper inner frame to speak of. And the only good thing about the kit is the size and also the gimmick of having some LED lights to shine the head and also the torso. So those were the cool gimmicks of the HGEX. Will Bandai be releasing a master grade of this scale? I think it is quite unlikely because there's already a perfect grade that is addressing the 160 scale market demand. So they would not be touching this line. Fan theory number two, master grade is probably going to have some better inner frames like maybe die cast and better parts. Well, again, Bandai already have the high resolution model kits for that segment. So it is again very unlikely that they will create something similar to cannibalize their high resolution model series. And the high resolution model series is doing exceptionally well. There's almost like two to three kits released every single year. It is expensive, but they do have their niche market audience for this product line. So highly unlikely the Master Grade Extreme line is going to be something that has an inner frame made out of die cast or better painted parts that's ready to go. So this, I think, is very, very unlikely. Fan theory number three is probably my favorite, and that is Master Grade Extreme has nothing to do with Gundam at all. There's no mobile suit involved, but instead, it is all about the mobile armor, the tanks, the warships, the vehicles in Master Grade form. I find that to be a quite compelling theory, and I really love and want this theory to be true, but given how not many people actually buy and collect and build these kind of kits, remember the UC Hard Graph Core Fighter? How many of you actually have it? And I really don't think Bandai is going to be spending so much money to invest in a new line focusing only on the vehicles, the mobile armors, and also the warships and the tanks. So highly unlikely that this will be what Master Grade Extreme is going to be all about. Even though this is the one that I really wanted to be the new Master Grade Extreme line. Hopefully Bandai will give this um, you know, alternative vehicles, the mobile armors, the warships some love instead of just focusing on the mobile suits. So let me know if you guys are in the same agreement with me on this topic. Fan theory number 4 again is nothing to do with the mobile suits. This is going to be everything except Gundam this time around. It is going to be focusing on maybe the Figurine Standard series. Something similar but a little bit more detailed with better inner frame, better details. Or it could be focusing on the older retro robot series. Anything but the Gundam franchise. So the Master Grade Extreme line could be something that is focusing on the older uh, series such as the uh, God Mars, the Voltron series, or they could be just something that is on Digimon, the Ultraman, the Dragon Ball, who knows. That also is one interesting fan theory. But then again, I think fan theory number five is Probably the most interesting, there has been a supposed leak that the Master Grade Extreme is going to be a Gundam Unicorn. 120 scale at 23,000 yen. How true is this? I don't know. This could be a prank. I don't know whether this is real. But at 120 scale and 23,000 yen, I would think that maybe this kit is going to be just a bust. So you will not have a full size model kit and it would have some gimmicks such as the LED built into the kit. So this is 
probably very very likely or it could be muscular extreme is something that is one step below the metal structure line which remember it cost 1000 US dollars and it was sold out immediately muscular extreme could be something below metal structure but has a better uh, parts like die cars LED gimmicks but it is something that you actually need to build instead of having an already built metal structure so that is what we think is the most probable master grade extreme that's going to be coming from Bandai very very soon also being trademarked by Bandai was the LM history so my guess is LM is going to be limited model and limited model probably means something that is going through a very limited production run once you've missed it there won't be any reissues like what we've seen from premium bandai so maybe lm history is something of a higher grade and a little bit more expensive compared to premium bandai so that's our guesses and all the possible fan theories of what lm history and mgex kids is going to be all about sound off in the comment section down below of what you think of this possible leaks and also fan theories now let's talk about all the upcoming new kits and the first one is the X Velky Lander from the Hybrid Bidavers Rerise series. This kit looks okay as with every SD kit from the Rise series, Build Fighter series, there will be a gimmick for you to actually transform and this kit is of course a no exception. The only bad news is yes, the gold parts as you see here, they are all painted so I think when you get this kit, it will probably be a lot of stickers that you need to either use them or you have to paint it yourself uh, for me well i think it is okay if you're a sd fan this is definitely a must-have and i'm sure some of you would really dig the transforming gimmick that goes with the Valkylander. As you guys know, the character in the High Grade Builders Rerise series is actually a handicap. And maybe I think Bandai should have a more diverse variety of different characters in their shows in the future. Not just having normal kids, but also having some different uh, race and also different capabilities such as the handicap user in the High Grade Builders Rerise series. Now let's talk about Gundam based Tokyo for a second. Given that how uh, Japan is starting to lift the restrictions of travel and so most stores are opening, it is actually now a great time to actually go to Gundam Base Tokyo to buy all the upcoming, actually not upcoming, they already released an available right now, kits in the Gundam Base Tokyo. And the first one is of course this new Core Gundam uh, with this kind of a glitter clear finish. So for me, I don't really like this type of um, glitter mix into the clear color finish but to me if it's clear color finish i will probably like it but yeah i think given that the target audience is probably young kids and i guess that's why the beauty of rise usually have this kind of finishing the next gunner based tokyo kit that i'm actually very interested in and i'm not sure whether it is the same as the gunpla expo kits before but this is actually the gundam babatos lupus rex with the new iron bladded coating quite an interesting uh, sheen i think we can't really tell from the official pictures but if you look at the actual product here that's being displayed it has a very semi gloss finishing tied to it so you can still see the sheen of the silver metallic finish of the lupus rex but it's not really shiny like the titanium finish that we've seen before so i'm actually curious whether this is the same kit that we use to be able to buy at GBWC Gunpla Expo last year. So I will check that out. The other kit that I think most of you would probably want is this guy. This is the Gundam Base Limited Gundam Barbatos. And in clear color, I think that this guy is going to be selling quite at a high price. If you guys are not able to get this from Japan, you will probably be paying a bomb to get the ship over to you in your country. Uh, given how popular the Master Grade Gundam Babatos is, I am very sure some of you will probably want a different variation in clear color. And we know clear color kits, uh, you, they have their own haters and lovers. I think it's a very polarizing kit as well. Some collectors do collect clear color because they believe that there's a value secondhand value in the aftermarket that's why they actually hog this kind of a clear color clear type so i don't know i think the kit looks 
pretty all right to be very frank given how the uh, bombatos actually has a lot of different variation in terms of the shoulder armor the knee the legs in terms of the red and the yellow so it looks pretty good to be a frank and i wouldn't mind snagging this kid up if only i am in japan so this kit is actually out right now in garden base tokyo if you're in japan and if any one of you who missed getting the hello kitty rx 78 2 sdex series when it first came out i think you didn't miss much to be very frank because i think that this clear color edition is frankly speaking a better buy look at how much better looking hello kitty and the rx 78 2 in sdex clear color form looks like it just looks so much better compared to the normal release so if any one of you managed to get one and has one to sell please let me know i think this is something that i would really want in my collection running off something that's available right now in the gundam based tokyo japan is the SECS char exclusive zaku 2 i am a big fan of clay color so you know i will be snagging this up if i can actually get my hands of this i actually already have the SDCS zeta and if you guys remember when we built that kit on our channel that kit seriously looks amazing in clear color form so that's all of our video for today a lot of new releases in gonna miss tokyo and of course the rumors of mgex coming very very soon together with the lmhg but then again just a big caveat here those are just fan theories whether bandai will be releasing those product line this year next week or even next year or maybe not at all we have seen those track record from bandai sometimes they announce things that they don't eventually release so we may not see mgex or even lmhg for the next two years or maybe they are just trolling us so for now let's just chat in the comment section down below and if you're new to our channel consider subscribing that's all video for today thank you for hearing me rambling for the last 12 minutes so stay safe